Uh, magandang hapon po ako. Uh, Tanong ko lang po, uh, bilang anak po, uh, paano niyo po tinatanggap ang mga batikos kay Papa mo, lalong lalo na kay First Lady po? Salamat po. Alam mo sir, sa totoo, sanay na sanay na kami dyan. So, it's nothing new. Alam mo naman, even when my dad wasn't president, ang dami lang nag-iintriga, ang dami lang mga critics. And you know, criticism is, is double-sided. Uh, dapat naman makinig ka sa mga sinasabi ng tao dahil that's how you improve as a person, that's how you improve as a public servant. But, yan yung tinatawag natin constructive criticism. Uh, alam naman natin, karamihan sa mga... Uh, ano dyan? Karamihan sa mga chismis na pinag-uusapan uh, sa mga marites dyan ay hindi naman totoo. Uh, gumagawa lang ng gulo. So, I think it's just important to keep on going. Uh, para naman sa ating Pangulo, para sa ating First Lady, trabaho lang. Salamat po. Thank you po. Kong, good afternoon po. Good afternoon. Uh, Jing No Boundaries po. Kong. Hello po. Uh, Kong, uh, bukod po sa binibigay ng national government sa mga senior citizens, PWD, solo po, parent po. Yes po. Uh, Kong, meron po ba kayong programa para sa kanila? Uh, especially po dito sa Norte po, Ilocos Norte po. Well, uh, ang mga programa natin ay katulad sa mga iba't ibang Kong na of course, para sa ating mga seniors, we have AX. Um, we have medical assistance, so sinigurado ko po na ang ating mga seniors, kung mayroon silang kailangan bilhin na gamot, kung mayroon silang mga medical bills, sagot, sagot na po yan ng aking opisina. Um, so I believe, if I'm not mistaken, kapag posible, lahat na namin, lahat buong bill na namin binabayaran. Uh, so in a essence, we're trying to give um, free medical, free healthcare dito sa Ilocos. Um, in essence lang yan. In essence. In essence. Uh, well, sorry, congressman lang ako ng Ilocos. <laughs> soon, soon. Soon, soon. Thank you po. Hello. Uh, good afternoon, congressman. Good afternoon. Yeah, bagis black po. Uh, Na-witness po namin yung kaninang isinagawang groundbreaking ng uh, uh, Marcos Complex. And then yung isa po ay... Grandstand. Yes. So, ito po bang proyekto na to? May aasahan pa po bang panibagong project yung mga taga First District, sir? Yes, marami pa. Marami pa. Actually, kung nakikita mo dun sa bypass road, yung um, mahabang kalsada dyan, lahat, uh, kumunta ba kayo sa Vintar? Yan, yeah, nandun yes, sir. So, if you saw, may mga solar lighting dyan. Um, Bagong-bago yan. We just finished. Uh, so that's part, eh, isa sa aking mga campaign promises ng ako yung may ikot na ipailaw na ang lahat ng mga kalsada na madilim. Um, so that's part of our uh, push no, to uh, modernize the first district. And of course, kasama din siya ng mga iba't ibang flood control, ang mga tulay sa mga lugar kung um, saan na binabaha, uh, uh, saan ang binabaha ang mga barangay. And of course, I think the biggest one that we are uh, currently undergoing is the viaduct in Pansian Pagudpud. Uh, so, meron kaming isang lugar sa Pansian, up in the north, mga one and a half hours away, na, um, na kapag umuulan, nagla-landslide palagi. So, yung kalsada dyan na nagiging unpassable. Uh, ang dahilan dyan, dahil, I guess, because of global warming and dahil sa daming nangyari, um, madalas nabablock siya. So ang gagawin namin ngayon, imbis na, imbis na dumaan uh, sa kalsada na, na, na aksidente lagi, uh, na landslide lagi, gagawa kami ng uh, viaduct, ng bridge na, that goes around the mountain para, maka, para hindi na mahihirapan yung mga tao na nakatira dyan. That is a 400 million ba? Yeah, it's a total 2 billion peso uh, operation. Pero kailangan talaga kasi for so many years, the northern part of the town has been blocked off the rest of the district dahil sa mga landslide na nangyayari. And actually, yung viaduct before Bago pa dumating sa kalsada dyan sa Pansyan, may isa pang viaduct na sinimula ng, uh, hindi, tinapos ng aking lolo, uh, si FEM. So ngayon, may isang viaduct na ngayon sa BBM administration. So it, it's good to see na itinutuloy 
ang uh, mga proyekto at ang mga plano ng uh, ng aking I guess lolo and uh, pinapaganda pa. Good afternoon, uh, Kong Sandro. Uh, I'm Coco Lokoy from TLWJ Good afternoon. Or, yes. So I am very, very interested about the Maharlika Investment Fund okay. because this is one of the long-term solution to right. the issues that we have right yes. now. And I really want it to be passed. But uh, I also have my criticisms or things that I want to... Uh, that is amenable for me. Okay. And I want to ask, if what are you amenable of changing the Maharlika word in the Maharlika Investment Fund if it means the Maharlika Investment Fund or the Investment Fund will be passed? Uh, well, it's not up to me. Mm -hmm. uh, nasa Senado na siya. Mm -hmm. uh, naipasa na namin sa Kongreso. I think people need to focus less about the name and more about the mm -hmm. function. Yes. Um, you know, the, 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 What's what's in a name? Uh, so to me, wala naman, I don't have any attachments to it. Uh, so to answer your question, yes. I think, uh, like you said, ang nangyari talaga sa Maharlika is, alam naman natin, anil lang taon lang ang termino ng Pangulo. Uh, so it's a way to generate more revenue in order to finance the big ticket projects that this government has planned. Yung mga malalaki na tulay, yung mga malalaki na dam, um, Hopefully, ang uh, problema ng mataas ng uh, presyo, ng kuryente, maayos din. Um, and ang, mas, ang sinasabi ng tao, or ang iniikot ng mga kritiko, na kung makikita mo uh, sa mga iba't, ibang, uh, uh, mga iba't ibang sovereign wealth fund, ay malaki daw ng, uh, ang nawala ng uh, revenue, uh, malaki daw ng nawalang profit in the coming years. Uh, what I have to say to that is the last few years na sa pandemia tayo. So it's of course expected naman na lahat ng mga negosyo or ka, I guess investment funds na naka-invest during the pandemic ay masama ang returns because of the performance of the global economy. Wala na tayo dyan. We are now in a phase of uh, recovery uh, and we need to ride that wave. And I think the Maharlika Investment Fund is a good vehicle and is a conduit to uh, usher those investments and make sure that uh, the profits that are realized from such an institution um, are used for nation building. And I really think that's re the, the essence of it. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's my okay. two cents. So another follow-up question is that, uh, alam natin na ang tina-target nila is yung seed money, yung source ng seed money. Yes. First was uh, where the SSS and GSIS, and now that it was transferred na ang BSP ang mag, ang isa sa mga mag fa fund. Yes. They are they are now targeting the BSP reserve na hands off daw. But BSP. it's not the reserves that are mm -hmm. hindi naman kumuha sa reserves. It's not from the reserves. Uh, the dollar reserves of the VSP won't be touched towards uh, the Maharlika Investment Fund. If I'm not mistaken, it's the dividends that are paid out, um, which the VSP committed, I believe, for two years, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so, hindi naman, hindi naman hahawakan yung reserves. I understand that seed money has become a contentious issue, but uh, the, the, I guess, notion that you need to be in a budget surplus in order to start uh, a sovereign wealth fund is a little bit misplaced. If you look at the sovereign wealth fund of Indonesia, they actually started during a deficit. Um, and within one year, I think times 20 ang naging, um, times 20 ang naging assets under management nila. So it's possible, it just has to be done in the right way. Uh, alam naman natin, we need to, there is much, it has become a contentious topic, but we need to let legislation do its job. And alam mo naman, ang bill na nakapasok or ang bill na ipinasok sa Kongreso galing sa economic managers kumpara sa bill na pinag-uusapan ngayon sa Senado ay napakaiba na. And that, that is the legislative mill at work. So let's have faith in our lawmakers to show that they are doing their job and ensuring that the bill that comes out of the Senate is the best possible version. And I have no doubt that that will be the case. Thank you, thank you. Hello po, good afternoon po ako, Ms. Andrew. Good afternoon. Ang tanong ko po ay, uh, at your young age po as a public servant, paano po ninyo na ma-manage ang oras po ninyo sa work, sa family, at sa personal uh, po ninyo? 
sa work sa a family po at sa life po niya. Um, wala, walang balance eh. <laughs> wala. <laughs> That's the short answer. Um, it's been hard to do that. Pero at least, ang maganda ay uh, my dad is always a phone call away. Um, my mom is always a phone call away. In fairness sa kanila, kahit gaano ka busy, they always find time for me and my brothers. Um, and at, uh, besides that, uh, I don't know, a lot of man, in, I'm like any other 28-year-old. Uh, after work, I like seeing friends and doing all of that. Pero may hirap talaga yung balance. Eh. That, that's, that's really the... Being a public servant 24-7. <laughs> um, so, alam, alam to ng staff ko, minsan tinetext ko sila madaling araw na. Uh, that's why I'm very, very thankful for them because they are really help, they, they help me kahit anong oras. Uh, so, it's, it's really a big deal for me. Uh, so yeah, that's it. It's hard to balance, but eh, I, well, I, ganun talagang buhay. I know what I signed up for, so no need to complain. I shouldn't complain. Just accept it and make sure I'm doing the as best as I can for the district.